I'm Ollie Gardner from Unbounce, and in this video series, I'll show you how to use fundamental design principles to increase the conversions of your landing pages. Whether you're a marketer, designer, copywriter, just a business person, it doesn't matter, because when you understand how design works, you can get more clicks, more leads, more conversions, and more sales from the traffic you're sending to your landing pages. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. The design principle of distraction. This one's all about identifying the elements on a page that might be distracting your visitors from the thing you want them to do, your conversion goal. If you look at these wireframes here, this is a standard, typical homepage on your website. This is a landing page. Anything in orange is an interactive element. It's a link, it's taking you somewhere else. On the homepage, we have 25 things you can click on. There's the nav, there's a promo slider, we've got the dots and the arrows, there's some feature links, and then there's links in the footer. All in all, 25 links. This is a more standard, dedicated landing page for a marketing campaign. One thing to do, one call to action. And when you're running a marketing campaign, whether it's paid ads like Google AdWords, or it's email, social, retargeting, whatever it is, you only have one campaign goal, to get people to convert on the purpose of that campaign. This brings us to the concept of attention ratio. Now, attention ratio, is the ratio of the number of things you can do on a given page, 25 in the case of our homepage, to the number of things you should be doing. And remember, when you're running a marketing campaign, there's only one goal, you should be doing one thing only. The homepage has an attention ratio of 25 to one, and the landing page, one to one. And this is what you need to be striving for because it can increase the conversion rates of your landing pages. Now let's look at some data. We consistently see the impact of attention ratio at Unbounce when we do our research, our data science team, and more recently, our landing page analyzer, free tool, it's great, I will link to it, allows you to put the URL of your landing page in and it will analyze it and give you a ton of actionable advice. But from the first 20,000 pages that went through it, we gathered some important data. You can see that when the attention ratio was five to one or higher, the average conversion rate was 10.5%. These are lead gen landing pages. When it was between two to one and four to one, 11.9 on average. And when it was one to one, the average conversion rate amongst all these pages was 13.5%. Attention ratio matters. Distraction is the enemy of conversion. This is why landing pages are so impactful and powerful for marketing campaigns. Because you can't just go to your, your web dev team and say, hey, can you remove the navigation and all the links from the homepage? No, of course you can't do that. But if you create a landing page just for that campaign, you can start by default like this without those distracting links that could take people away from the purpose of your campaign. Now let's jump into the Unbounce landing page builder and I'll show you exactly how to use the principle of distraction and attention ratio to simplify your landing page, remove distractions, and ultimately increase conversions. All right, here we are inside the Unbounce landing page builder and you can see that this page has been designed to kind of look like more of a home page or uh, something on a website because it's got the navigation. Let's go down, it's got three calls to action there. Uh, these interactive elements are okay because they're tabs. They'll just change this content. They're not actually leaving the page. This one will, that will, that will. This is a form. Three more things to do there. One there and then 10 links in the footer. It's 27 to one. The attention ratio is 27 to one overall. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make this more like a focused landing page that has one dedicated action. Remember, you can't just delete everything on your website, but on a landing page created specifically for your campaign, you can. So let's take out these. Let's have a single CTA here. Center that, center that. I've got a nicer flow going. I'm just going to take this out entirely because this is not a blog. This is not about signing up for a newsletter. That's not going to be our campaign goal. So I'm just going to take that section out entirely. Let's say the goal of this is to get people to sign up from the pricing grid here. So what we can do is have the main call to action at the top, scroll down to the pricing grid. So then these are actually okay because you're choosing a plan to move forward. At the bottom, remove that, and we're gonna take all of these footer links out because all of them are taking you to a different page. They're not 
congruent with the goal of our campaign, which is to get someone to sign up. So now our attention ratio is one to one. It's perfect. You can see here just this above the fold experience is so much cleaner, so much more focused on what you want people to do. So you can come in and go, oh, here's a headline, super clear, subhead for extra clarity. Yes. I'm interested in this. That's another landing page design principle you have in your toolkit. So please try them out on your landing pages. You'll improve the clarity, you'll improve the impact of the design and ultimately increase conversions. I recommend you check out unbalanced.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Ollie Gardner. Click that link up there. It will take you to a preview of the Unbalanced Landing Page Builder. You can play around with it, see how easy it is to use, apply some of the design principles I've been teaching you and you'll have higher converting landing pages in no time. You can check out more landing page design videos down below. If you're watching on YouTube, go to thelandingpagecourse.com where I'll teach you a whole bunch more about high impact, high converting landing pages.